How do we solve for the values of x and y which satisfy these equations? Let's see. We have x plus root y is equal to 11 and root x plus y is equal to 7. The first equation can be written as root x squared plus root y is equal to 11. And the second equation here can be written as root x plus root y squared is equal to 7. Now let us assume that a is equal to root x and b is equal to root y. So if we replace these values in the equations above then we will have a square plus b is equal to 11 and a plus b square is equal to 7. So now if we subtract these two equations then we will have a square minus a plus b minus b square is equal to 11 minus 7. Now let us bring a square and b square together. Then we'll have a square minus b square minus a plus b equal to 4. Now this here can be written as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Now let us take minus common from these two terms. Then we'll have minus and a minus b equal to 4. Now let's take a minus b common from both the terms. Then we will have a minus b multiplied by a plus b minus 1 equal to 4. Now, 4 here can be written as a product of two numbers in three ways and they are 1 multiplied by 4, 2 multiplied by 2 and 4 multiplied by 1. By observation, we can see that the second term is greater than that of the first term. And why is that? Simple, it is because there is the sum of two numbers and here is the difference of two numbers. And for any two numbers, the sum of the two numbers is greater than that of their difference. Right. So that the second term must be greater than that of the first term. Now if we look at the possibilities, we have 1 multiplied by 4, which tells us that the first term must be less than that of the second term, which is fine. At the second possibility we have a minus b equal to 2 and a plus b minus 1 equal to 2 which means that both of the terms should be equal to each other but that is not the case here this term must be less than that of the second term so that this possibility can be eliminated and the third possibility tells us that this term must be greater than that of the second term which is also not true at all so we can eliminate this possibility as well now let's go with 1 multiplied by 4 so we will have a minus b is equal to 1 and a plus b minus 1 is equal to 4. This gives us a is equal to b plus 1. So now if you place the value of a in this equation then we will have b plus 1 plus b minus 1 is equal to 4 and this gives us b is equal to 2. On placing the value of b here we will have a is equal to 2 plus 1 which gives us a is equal to 3. So now we have a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2. And we had assumed that root x is equal to a. So root x is equal to 3. Squaring on both sides we will have x is equal to 3 squared which gives us x is equal to 9. And b is equal to root y. So squaring on both sides this gives us y is equal to 2 squared which gives us y is equal to 4. So 9 comma 4 is the only set of value for x and y which will satisfy the given equations. And that's our answer.